Chapter 5. This is a quick little chapter that adds to Chapter 4. It identifies and explains how to select foreign markets. Why rank markets? There are four pay organizations or businesses that will do this for you and often this pays for itself in having talented informed people focusing on this taking less time and money than if you did your own in-house research. This slide identifies the ROI return on investment important for early globalization and expansion. And it also includes a systematic approach to decision making. We'll take a look at a little more detail. The selection process. Number one, developing indicators also known as selection criteria product specific. These indicators include the level of current imports and exports. Industry size indicators include the population, per capita income, and total market size. Market growth indicators include growth projections of total market. Number two, it's important to convert data for comparison. You want to compare apples to apples, not apples to oranges, so sometimes based on your data you'll have to do some conversion. See page 57 figure 5.4. Number three, determine the level imp of importance of a particular indicator by giving it more weight or less weight than the other criteria. Number four, analyze. See page 58 and 59 figure 5.5. Use a model as the starting point then determine how important each ranking is to your company or product. That's where you'll put in the weight. Look for patterns in the data and if your product is new, past indicators will likely not help. Country versus market analysis. There are items to consider when analyzing with both the country and the market. This slide lists the items to consider. Under country, historical, political borders, data collection, tariffs, customs, trade agreements. Under the market we have trade alliances, monetary unions, and metro areas or economic zones. Now NAFTA you may have heard of. That is an agreement between the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Merc Mercosur is a trade block which includes Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay, and Uruguay, and associates with Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. The Andean Pact just takes the first four, which are Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay, and Uruguay. Now, you will not be required to memorize all of these. In fact, on your quizzes, you will be able to use your textbook. The last slide of this PowerPoint talks about Kenichi Ome's model, the four I's, as you can see, investment, industry, information, and individual customers. Ome is best known for his ideas on market segmentation. He, he segments the market by region, a part of a country, a group of countries, and this is a borderless view for purchasing, distribution, marketing, and customer service within a geographic or non-geographic region. This link that I'm going to open goes to a 13-minute video of Kenichi Ome and um, I'm not going to show the whole video but on your lessons tab you will see PowerPoint 5 and if you go to the last slide you can click on this link to watch the entire 13-minute video.